Yo guys, Foose900 here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Dead Space in honor of War Month. Dead Space is about Isaac Clarke, who goes with Hammond and Kendra to the USG Shamor in search of Isaac's girlfriend, uh, Nicole, because they had a, uh, like a power outage and they couldn't fear, uh, there was like issues from the ship. Actually, the power outage I don't think was a uh, initial why, reason why they went. That's just what they found out when they got there. And then it turned from that to all hell breaking loose with necromorphs, which they found out later that are called necromorphs, through audio logs and video logs and stuff left on the ship. And there's also, like, uh, I would say now Hammond dies and Kendra is actually a bad person trying to find the marker, which the marker is a part of the ship now. Uh, U.S. Ishmore was sent as a mining operation to Aegis 7, which they, unmar they uncovered the marker, and the marker is a unitologist artifact. Unitology, unitology is a, like a religion, like Christianity, Buddhism, etc., etc., and they, like, pray to the altar, and the altar changes, uh, well, the altar sends, like, a signal to people's heads and, like, messes with their heads and stuff. It really screwed with Isaac's head. But the, uh, whole objective of the game is to get the marker back to Aegis 7, which Isaac does, but Kendra actually is a part of an organization that wants the marker, so they start bringing it back, and this marker is, like, man-made, I think, and all this stuff, and, uh, yeah. So Kendra tries to take it back, and then the Leviathan, no, 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 Leviathan was, uh, earlier, never mind, sorry, the Hive Mind, which is what controls the marker and everything else on Aegis 7, and it's, like, sending out signals and whatnot. You have to fight it as Isaac, and you don't, uh, like, it tries to bring you down, and you have to go, like, fly away from the, um, planet of Aegis 7, but you find out before that that Nicole, actually you don't find out till the, right at the, at the end, that Nicole actually killed herself. She sent a video to Isaac telling him that, like, showing her, showing him that she was killing himself, but he never got to watch the full thing until Kendra finally showed him at the end, and then he was like, oh, God. Like, he doesn't have a voice. Isaac does not have a voice in this game. You only see his face, like, one time, actually. Or, no, two times, I'm sorry. Two times, actually. And Nicole, like, is haunting him at the end of the game, like, in the cutscene. And, you know, that leads on to Dead Space 2, of course. But, yeah. Dead Space is one of my favorite games of all time. I mean, it's a great horror game. It's very spooky with your, you know, um, earbuds in. You have... I mean, voices, like, whispering in your ears, and creepy music, and the necromorphs coming out of vents, and down hallways, and you have, I mean, you have guns and stuff, so, I mean, that's good, but, you know, it's very creepy, and, yeah, overall, Dead Space is just a very awesome game. I love Dead Space so much. The whole atmosphere is crazy. I thought the graphics were pretty good for the day. The storyline's amazing. Um... You know, lots of pretty weapon variety there, different suits you can wear that give Isaac more uh, slots of his inventory, and he also has, like, a, you know, that's his uh, defense of, uh, you know, how much life he can take. And also there's the upgrade bench where you can get nodes, which are like little, I mean, they're like little round pieces that that you upgrade your weapons, or armor, or health, or blah blah blah. There's also zero gravity in this game. Not like where you're just flying around, that's in a different game, but there's a zero gravity feature where you can hop ball to ball at certain points. And there's also, a, like the Necromorphs also take advantage of that too. It's a very cool feature, I thought that was a cool feature. Uh, you're in space, I mean you really feel like you're in space. One thing that a lot of people had issues with was you were on the ship for most of the time. Sorry about that, my phone was ringing. So, anyway, you, you're you on the ship most of the time, the Ishimura, you only get off the ship at one time during the game. And a lot of people kind of were kind of iffy about that because you were stuck in one environment, and you were backtracking a lot, and you were going through some of the same areas in a different chapter, only, you know, a few things might have changed, like, uh, 
to look at the place because lights got shut down and, you know, different story events happened. And then there was also the necromorph that wouldn't die, that literally, like, you shot it and it would just regenerate. That was kind of the, yeah. So, yeah, the game is very awesome, though. Dead Space is a great game. Uh, good, you know, scare factor, all of that. Graphics were good, sound was good, gameplay was fun, characters were, uh, eh, there were, there were a good amount of characters, but not like an overly amount of characters. You learned a lot of things that happened with the audio logs and video logs, so yeah. Overall, I've got to give this game like a 9.7, honestly, because this game is very just badass, and I love it so much, and it, like, it had a good scare factor, and still does. Uh, I don't, the only thing I, only, like, real complaint I have, which isn't very big with nitpicking, is the same thing about, uh, what I just mentioned a second ago, about, um, going through the same areas, only, uh, sorry, you know, going through the same areas, like, once or twice, or, I mean, like, two or three times, I mean, in, like, you know, separate chapters, you know, like, you go through it in the second chapter, and then you go through it in the fifth chapter, and that happened a few times, which was kind of frustrating, but eh, it was alright. So, yeah, 9.7, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my video. It helps me out as a small YouTuber, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.